Greetings family, this is Bomani Tamba and we are live on Revolutionary Cam. Family, I'm here with my good brother here in Georgia, Mass Quasi. Greetings brother. Greetings, greetings. How are you? Man, I'm, I'm, you got me right. I'm here and I'm, everything is well. <laughs> yes, perfect man. Yo, my brother, I'm here to talk about all of these haters. Yeah. You know, you're a cool guy, man, so I can yeah. see why people just be hating That's why on I put you. my shade on. I just threw these yeah. on because, you know, we want to rouse that hater energy because all it's going to do is make us go higher. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. The, the haters just make you this, you know, the, the haters just basically motivate you uh -huh. and you step your game up and everything. So I've been enjoying it, man. But yeah, I've been... this, is, this is for the lovers. <laughs> <laughs> These people that love the movement, that people that love Garveyism, people that love to see our people come together, people that love their brother, people that love their sister. This is for the lovers, not the haters. Absolutely, family. So <laughs> that's what we're doing, family. And as you can see, we have the Africa for the Africans t-shirt on. I am so proud to have this on my Perfect. chest. Well, even more important, you've been to Senegal and the Gambia. Well, I live in the Gambia. I went to uh, uh, the Gambia seven years ago, Gambia, Senegal, because Gambia is right in the middle of Senegal. So I went there uh, seven years ago, and I, I, I've been living there, and I've established some roots there. Of yes, I, yes, you have. Uh, yep. you, I'll basically say that you've been one of the pioneers in the Gambia, because before we heard about a lot of these different names, mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? You were there putting things in place, and as right. a matter of fact, uh, some of the people that's a little more popular mm -hmm. in situations, uh, you have worked with them. That's more You've worked with, like, basically, there's a lot of people. Well, Julia, just... I mean, it's no secret. We're going to talk about it. We're here. Absolutely, man. Out. We're going gonna, gonna to be there. real. We're going to put and it out they, there. You know, they made videos about me. I didn't even take the time even to uh, watch those videos because, right. you know, I, I'm a serious person. I don't have any time for that, uh, right. that foolishness. I'm a builder, and I think when we look at uh, someone that can produce at the level because that that uh, a producer can produce. Right. You know, I don't want to say me. You know, I never try to take the credit like, hey, it's me, it's about me. No, it's about everybody else. And that's how she is. You know, we here in Atlanta, Georgia, live. <laughs> it ain't live. We need. Yeah, we live. We're live. We're gonna talk about it because, uh, you know, like you said, that's how you became famous. How and you brother, you know, let's, let's be real. Drama. Anything, yeah. don't put anything out there that you don't want out there. So like we're being real. So whatever we're telling you, there. we're going to just be real about there. everything. Well, perfect. That, you know, always, yeah. Let people know that uh, you know, camp, live here in Atlanta. This is Raw and Uncut, live on Revolutionary Camp. And yeah. the Revolutionary Camp, we give you the real story and everything. Yeah. And I appreciate my brother, Matt Squacy. Mm -hmm. Your brother, it was good timing, man. I came through, <laughs> you know what I'm saying, with the Bomani Technology Mobile in this. I got my brother in and now we're here. I you know, continue so, and share what's mm -hmm, going on mm -hmm. as far as this, the well, things we that we're going to talk about. The haters, Negro Pian, and you were speaking oh, yeah, about that's him. Another clown. You recently came under attack from him, and as you know, he made his career off of uh, the uh, saga with me and R. Kathy. That oh yeah, unfortunately, that came from a beef with uh, between me and Juliet Ryan, or our, our camp and her camp, because I started working with Juliet. Anybody that know the history, you go back and you you, you know you know that. Uh, however, it. Caught, brought a great shame and a dark cloud over the movement right. and uh, like I said I went over there seven years ago way before a lot of our uh, repass came and I was over there training I've trained hundreds of people you know I'm married over there several times over I have children there you know so I went and I integrated into society I didn't come right. over here with a whole western mindset and a whole family model to come over there here and and build a house you know and that and that's our goal in Africa with uh and, and, and when I got when I came out the house, I've already I was over there two and a half years, but I was training okay. people on systems like you have, you know, systems that where we can build websites, build databases. Because of course I started with Juliet, and we was attached by the hip. This was a month after Watermeyer came over, and then uh, Dinah Samir. When I uh, met her, what year was that? That was uh, like 19. 2018, 19, oh, 19. All right. Yeah, hold on, yeah, yeah, 2019. 2020, yeah, yeah, well, yeah I know it's within the last three to five years. Last three years, yeah, about three years, yeah. So in any case, you know, um, I worked with her, and then that was during the time of the uh, COVID. When oh, yeah, 2020, down. yeah. 2020, the COVID. During the COVID yeah. shutdown, right, nobody was coming over there. Right. So, however, Art Kathy had made it just before that. Oh yeah, I do remember that because uh, she, she came in the beginning of twenty uh, twenty. Art, Art was staying with me at my house. Right. So I met Art Kathy through Blacksit, and how I met uh, Juliet and Adrian is I met Adrian on on the Facebook. Um, 
I was up there and I saw him. He was like, I'm in a certain area. He said, I'm, you know, I'm here with my wife. I knew, nobody really knew who Juliet. She had the video going with Watermine, but that was only like a month or something. Right. When I saw Adrian, I didn't know, have any idea who Juliet was. You know, blacks didn't have that level of popularity. It was just the one video and they had a shop. So when I met Adrian and I went over their house, you know, uh, I met Juliet at that time. And the crazy thing is that when I walked in and I met Juliet, she was sitting in the chair. You know what happened? Love. <laughs> the chair broke. <laughs> and Juliet fell on the floor. That's really loud, I'm See, I'm, I'm going to tell you the truth. They, they sitting over there lying. And, but, you know, and, and I'm, I'm the last person that's going to try to come out and talk about people. But what they did well, was brother, very you disgusting. Tell you, you gotta, what like, they did was very tell disgusting. Tell you the truth and you got to stand for yourself. I mean, you know, like, like I said, at the end of the day, when I went over there, I didn't need anybody. I already had my right. stuff going on for many decades. I had my own business. Yeah, you know, I'm but you're trying to, to but I mean, my channel out, go hard, Gambia. You know what I mean? Juliet told me don't get a channel. <laughs> you're like, don't get a channel, and I'm like, why? I'm like, you don't really know who I am. Who are you talking to? I'm like, yo, I'm from the tri-state northeast. I'm coming right. over here. You know, anybody that's from the tri-state northeast. You know, anybody that's from the east coast. You know, what I mean, my people from the Midwest. You know, uh, uh, yeah, the the west coast because I've traveled all over the U.S. You know what I'm saying? So I had an apartment in Toledo. We had a um, event center in Toledo, Ohio. You know, uh, my people in Cleveland, Ohio. You know, Atlanta. I lived here in Atlanta. I lived in the DMV for a long period of time. I actually got shot here in Atlanta. My blood is on these streets in Atlanta. My boy got killed here. Two people from Connecticut moved down here and got killed here. You know, uh, my uh, Bossom, I always speak about him. You know, my brother got killed, but you know, it's no secret, my brother, he lived by the sword. He right. lived three decades. My brother, if you look, check out my channel, he got shot execution style, found on the side of the house on a February morning. You know what I mean? But I left Connecticut, so I was detached from that. So I went down there because that's how we lived. You know what I mean? And anybody uh, will tell you, he the per type of person to put you in the ground too. And he just never got tired of the streets. He wanted to stay out there. Before I went out in this, this uh, when, before I got in the streets, when I was still in the house, when I was still on the clock, like they say, under 12, he got shot for the first time. He wow. was actually trying to shoot somebody. His gun got jammed and they shot him. He was beefing against the gang. Wow. You understand what I'm saying? And at that time, he actually shot somebody in the back of the head, but it, the, the, it was a small caliber. And I, I don't mean to go into all of that stuff. And, and nobody, anybody that ever know me, I never talk about where I'm from. But recently, I've started talking about that so people can understand what I've been through. You right. know what I mean? But before I came out the house, he was living like a gangster by himself, soul. You know, running through cliques, and he was very well known, very talented, and he was he had a, he was very intelligent. But the problem that he had is that my father wasn't there, so he leashed that onto the community, and he became very very dangerous, a very dangerous person to the point where he took somebody's life. Then he ended up getting shot again after he attempted to take somebody's life and they had they had a bulletproof vest on so my brother rolls up on them on the bike and shoot him like five times it would have killed him but he had a vest on my brother goes to ride off and the guy shoots my brother five times you understand what i'm saying so this is the type of thing that i've lived on and and and, and you know, I got to a point, I ended up getting, all my friends got shot. We've seen so much death and destruction in our community that it's, it's unspeakable. And it's like a genocide. And only to have Africa as an outlet to go to and go over there and then have people. We had the largest economic community over there. You know, and, you know, with Art Cathy, when she came over, her, you know, Juliet has more of a capital, capitalist uh, uh, business model. Where, you know, come over, build your home, live the American dream over there. But we're trying to get away from that. Yeah. That's our greatest contribution we can make to the continent is just go over there and buy a home. And we're going to do it. Let's build a new community together where we can Serious. have a complete community economic Nation plan. building. And then you have people, you know, that's capitalists over there. It's, 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 it's very shameful. And I, I never thought I would bring my vocal cords to actually say mm -hmm. something like this. You understand what I'm saying? But I told... You know, Adrian early on, and he'll tell you that I told him, you know, for them to take those women when they came over there, if we had an internal problem, they should have said, hey, we need to keep all of this off of YouTube because we don't want to tarnish anybody's reputation right. or the movement, which was greater. And as we know, 
nothing ever came out of that situation. I was even brought to the authorities. You know, uh, uh, they, these women, they were supported. You know, and I supported Julia. I supported Blacks. And I went over there with a team of four people, Gambian. You know, I have Gambian wives. It's no secret. You know, uh, and, and children over there. I built many Gambian before Juliet. And then when I started working with Art Kathy, it became a problem. And we, you know, we try to keep it off YouTube and mediate it. You know, we doing our thing, do your thing. Art was from here. People, she had her market. Uh, and, and, and she came over there. My, my role was that of a business developer. You understand what I'm saying? So I'm going to work with you. You have your own network. I'm just going to help you build your what you have in place already. And however, it became a competition over a, a market share. And then we seen what happened. But at the end of the day, it wasn't because of me and Art. Art's a, Art's a genius. Uh, Juliet's a genius as well. But we have these, uh, uh, these mental issues the you know uh that affect us and these emotional issues and these traumas and things like that and you know it, it uh we we're going to africa to escape that not to make that put that at the forefront of the movement it's not going to work especially in another country where we're making investments you know how that's gonna you know uh, pan out everybody's going to build houses and then we're undermining the culture and the integrity and, and then it's always happening you know and there's so much to talk about but people need to be aware you know, I'm working with a brother, you know, uh, I spoke to thousands of people. I helped many, many people come over, working with a brother. He got a and b and these people just try to destroy this brother, man. You know, this totally opposite, un separ uh, uh, different situation. A sister came down. I'm not going to put her out there now. But these con, the, the con you know, and, and come into the situation and just mess things up make people feel uncomfortable and we don't need that energy in the movement but it has to be addressed it has to be addressed wow. that's a lot to deal with brother uh, that's, that's a lot to deal with then you, you, you on know top you, got, of that, you got a blast of it well oh, absolutely the black man over here is being annihilated and then you gotta go to africa and deal with the same western you know uh, feminist movement that that you know that corrupted our family model yeah, I mean, you know, men like me got, you know what I'm saying, big balls, you know what I'm saying? We're like a, a dying breed of a, of a generation because, yeah. you know, we have like the weakest generation of black men that ever existed. Listen, you know Like, even they, the they got one out. that called himself the unapologetic Negro P. Negro P. We're going to go into Negro P. Could we pause this right quick? Uh, absolutely it's not, man. Not, it, 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 no, this is live on Road New Shit. Like, I'm live on how, how, how many minutes are we at? Uh, we are literally good in a few minutes, family. Uh -huh. We are literally 12 strong. So okay. we're, we're going to wrap this one up and then we'll it's just 12 continue. Minutes. It's 12 minutes? Uh, absolutely. Okay, yeah. So we, we agreed upon 10. Okay. Uh, absolutely. The time goes by because so we have my, a lot my to time, share. My, my time is very important. So we're going to have to stop this and come back. Oh, oh, okay. oh perfect, guys. Perfect. Let's go ahead and stop with it. Stay tuned. Yeah, perfect family. So we're gonna wrap it up. So family. So what we did was uh, we introduced you to a few different names and a few different people. Right. So my brother is gonna go into more details of how all of these people are all connected to all of us uh -huh. and the drama they cause and all the situations. So we're, gonna we're literally gonna it. give Let's you some it. real stuff, family. That we're gonna give you the out truth. there you heard live the on Revolution Camp, fam. This is exclusive. So stay. Tune, family. Tune, baby. The journey of a lifetime continues. Mwah. Bomani and Matt Quasi, man, brother. Mwah. Hit me like that. Yo, bro. Like this. Boom. <laughs> Yo, family. Then we're going to go like this. Cheese. We're going to give it to the same feather. <laughs> Yo, don't listen. We'll be back.